Welcome back to the world's worst Louisville playthrough. Now, I have made a conscious decision. Tomorrow, because it's fucking 4.30 now, tomorrow we are going to gear up and... F that I can't get through there. Tomorrow, we are going to gear up and get ready to fight the Louisville Mall. Yes, you heard me right. But, one thing I have been told by someone, I've forgotten who told me, but... Basically, apparently, there's a certain apartment block, and I think it's this one. There's a certain apartment block that has a super high number of zombies in each room. So we might try and fight that at some point, but that'll probably be its own separate thing. But for now, I'm going to gather what I can and basically try and... Oh, I need to wear that. Try and gather as much food today because I think we're gonna be fine on weapons because we are in a fire department. I'm just gonna have a brief check on weapons actually. Yep, three axes, six, and a pickaxe. Okay, we should be fine, but I'm still gonna pack them all into a single bag. There are a lot of sh there's a lot of shit on the floor. Anyway, let's go. I'm gonna try and go for food today. These these houses are probably the best bet. And lucky for me, they are straight in my direction. But not the kind of straight you're thinking of. Because, unfortunately, I know someone who isn't straight. It's you. I really need to level up my axe. This just is not cutting it anymore. Okay, no one's around me. Honestly, that's, that's one of my biggest fears. I'd be focusing on something in front of me, and then BAM! My ass is eaten. Ooh. I think I know where I am. Louisville, obviously, you idiot. But no, I think this is the fair. Yeah. Ooh. Combat uniform jacket. What does that look like? Ooh, that looks sexy. 10 out of 10, wood shag. Any hot dogs? No. Great. There's a Bob's Burgers stand. Don't know if that helps or not. And also, there's a horde. Who would have thought? And a guy with a shotgun. There was a guy with a shotgun. Oh, hello, my lady. How are you? She didn't die first time. I hate her. I'm also going to take this off because I think I'm sweating. Yeah, I'm sweating. Great. I love that. love the feeling of sweat running down my balls. Oh, this is the bar. Hell yeah, I can get drunk. Okay, that's good to know. I have done nothing that I came here to do. I just want to point that out. Oh, there was a rock. There was supposed to be a rock concert here. Ah, that explains it. That's pretty cool. Are these the band members? I hope so. Okay. Once I keep missing the floor, um, it's becoming a bit of a problem. You were definitely head of security. Like there is absolutely no way that you weren't. This is quite a nice little spot though. Like no one can really see you here. Apart from the ones that you can, but obviously you kill the ones that can, so it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? There are a lot of tents here. This is clearly where the drugs are kept. Also, I'm just saying, those of you that have been to a festival, uh, you will know exactly what is going on. Uh, those of you that haven't, you don't need to question it. This takes place in 1983. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, no wonder everything's so outdated. Oh my God, I've just thought of a series, but it would be the longest series ever. You'd basically live from 1983 to 2024. And equally, by the time you finish it, you would easily be into 2025 already. That's pretty cool though, because it feels like it has its own law. I'm also going to check out what this building is, because I'm intrigued now. 1983, Jesus Christ. Wasn't that the year that Michael Jordan got drafted? Must have been. Either then or, either, it's either then or it wasn't far off. Okay, that's definitely just toilets. And you got Ginger McGee trying to get into the women's. Although he has got a bunch of military gear on, so we could take that. He was desperate for a pee. You know what, I'm just going to get a car and then I can just take all this home. 
I'm not leaving a bunch of good stuff. And we're off. Romuald Drawn Memorial Park. See, I'm thinking of making a video, making a video on the lore of Project Zomboid. But I don't know if it would go down well because I'm used to playing it. See, for some reason, I now see the game differently. Because I see it now from the perspective of 1983. That's quite cool though. I'm probably going to try and go to sleep. No food was acquired though. I'm going to chill and then go to sleep. Actually, I'm going to wash everything. Is there anything in these? Don't think there is. No. Oh well. Realistically, I should be going to the shower to wash, but I, I like to use the sink. I'm also going to fill a water bottle. There we go. So fresh and so clean. I really need sheets to cover those. Although, I'm proud of myself. Well, to be fair, I could just sleep in here. But, you might be asking, why are you proud of yourself? I'm proud of myself because I've not taken antidepressants once in this game. And that is rare. Some people are chugging them like Tic Tacs. But not me. I'll try and sleep now. And we wake up at 7. Now, today is gathering day. Why? Because I can. And specifically, that's what we're going for. Cans. But for that, we need to go to houses. And houses are in populated areas. Because you know who lives in them? That's right. People. How full is this? 42 out of 75. fact, realistically, we're not bringing back that much food. So we're going to go. Okay. Best place that I can think of is this row of houses. It's not too far. And we've already been there. So most of the zombies should be at the top of the road rather than the bottom. But you know who is a bottom? That's right, you. And the thing that I said about the zombies being at the top of the road, yeah, you can scrap that because they're all here. The dickwads. Everyone's dying. Especially you, Grandma. Oh, that was cool. See, I moved because of you. People are going to ask, oh, why did you make that move? Because of people like him. I'm fairly certain I've been in this house. Oh yeah, I checked to... Uh, for some reason, I checked a bunch of houses... Um, sofas? Uh, I, I, I don't know why either. Um, it was a bit weird. I just ate a whole lime as well. Um, feel free to check on me at some point. You know, might might be depressed. I ate a whole lime just to feel something. Yeah, I yeah I tried to take this couch as well. There was a couch here, but not after I took it or tried to, and then it didn't fucking work. Did I take dog food? I did. Uh, you can go in there. Dog food is a last resort. Okay. How many are there? Four. Okay. By the way, this format is the exact opposite of what I said. Like, everyone was down at the bottom, and no, everyone was down at the bottom when I said the bottom would be clear and the top wouldn't. Yeah. Soz, I lied. Oh yeah, because I made my way into this house. I don't even think I made my way into this house. There is a horde right outside. So, I need to be quick. Oh my god, that is smashed him. I need to hurry up. I also need to try and... Oh, you're not going to come. Oh. That was amazing horde management, by the way. Just saying. If I get fucking bitten... Why am I going back into this house? I got what I needed. I did that to attract this guy's attention. Not because I'm stupid. I'll drink raw milk because I want to see the internet get divided. Raw milk or not. Not raw milk, but you know. Milk, milk straight from a glass. Yes or no. I'm getting good at this game now. Am I taking dish towels? I am. This is going much better than I expected. Yes, I see the horde at the top of my screen, but 
I am more than confident I can beat them. With the power of friendship. I have no friends. Come on, Johnny. Come on, Sabrina. Come on, Dingleberry. Dingleberry's parents weren't very kind to him. He was subject to a lot of bullying because of them and their lifestyle. They were furries. I feel like this is unfair. To be fair, I haven't done this house. So there's still hope. Sorry about that. That was just my mother telling me you're shit in bed. Okay, there's one here. I don't know how I made that happen, but it did, and I'm quite happy that it did. Oh, I am full. Okay, I'm going to put everything in the car, and then I am going to drive away. Maybe. Depends. Depends how full the car is. Okay, someone's coming towards me. Multiple people are coming towards me. That's not good. Come on, Baldy Locks. Come on, lots of hair. Come on, woman. That's how you know I'm straight. Okay, I think I can get one more load in before... Actually, to be fair... The amount of shit I've got... We'll be fine with that. Anyway, I'm going to try and load up a bunch of weapons. You already know what I'm going to take. You know I'm going to take axes, baseball bats, and shotguns even though I never use them. I might do a video learning how to aim. I, ju I just stopped to kill these guys, by the way. No other reason. Anyway, if you like this, you'll probably like whatever the fuck is on screen. And I shall see you guys in a bit. Take care, and peace.